Hey, what's up dudes? Kublik on here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay with our child of Adam Ghoul on Far Harbor. And what another beautiful, foggy day to begin uh, on our little adventure. So, we are on our way to pick up the kill switch for the wind farm of Far Harbor. This is something that Dima had, I'm assuming, as a way to limit what uh, the people of Far Harbor would be able to do if they got into a war with the children of Adam. And now I'm getting stuck. That thought about what Dima would do to the Far Harbor people with the Children of Adam made me realize something about Dima that I didn't really think about in our first relation. We talked about how I couldn't get over the fact that he killed Avery in order and a Harbor Woman in order to replace them. And that sucks. That's not cool. Now on the flip side, how many more lives would have been lost instead? That's an interesting part that I haven't quite thought about. I mean, what happens if Synths showed up and the people of Far Harbor got pa panicked and started killing them? And some of the people of Far Harbor then get killed by the Synth, or the Synth gets killed by them. Like, that's not, that's not good either. Or, and here's another thing to think about. What if this new Avery is also more kind to the Children of Adam? Because remember, she was like, you'd hang for what you did to those Children of Adam people. Far Harbor is not nice to the Children of Adam. They were peaceful. Sure, they had weird religious beliefs, but they were peaceful. They didn't actually try to hurt them until later. Did you see how my, like, damage indicator just flickered? I guess, like, a mine I left somewhere just exploded. Anyway, this idea that people are, you know, okay to hurt because they had a different belief system versus the Far Harbor people who had killed innocent individuals. Like, it's only you know, circumstance that the Children of Adam ended up with a crazy explosive device. Up to that point, in fact, they were chased out of the town of Far Harbor. Like, that's a, that's kind of a crazy idea of where it makes sense. Ooh, hello, you scary my oh god! Oh, it's a legendary. Run, 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 run. Okay, one sec, we're gonna put this on the side for a little bit. We have something to wear. Exterminator's combat right arm. Now, we're gonna get rid of the champion for a second, but I think this is gonna be worth trying to do against the Mirelurk. All right, less protection against my Atorata to the face. Okay, he's... That hurt a lot, but actually not too, too bad. Oh, uh, we need a mine. We need a mine. <laughs> when did I pick up five fragmentation mines? I don't remember doing that. Throw that far enough ahead and go. He's gonna hit the mine and blow up the car too. No, he's not. Is the car ready to explode? Dude. Dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's the mutation. I didn't realize that the music actually changes when a mutation occurs. There you go. Ow. Ow. I'm now parts from lack of water. And he's just doing fine. I need a, something that protects me from exploding cars. All right, let's, uh, since we're just kind of hanging out. I felt it. I felt, I was like, he's looking at something behind me, isn't he? That he is. That he is. And it's a Mirelurk freaking hunter. Okay, this is already not going very well. Oh, come on. Just keep backing up. Best thing to eat when we're fighting Mirelurks is more Mirelurks. That makes perfect sense to me. Maybe a wolf's brew, too. Just to keep our health going up. Well, damn, let's pick her up. Shot him in the face. Keep moving. Keep moving. All right, let's take this one out. Come on, get down. Die, why don't you? Hold on, we got some headshots we could... Yeah, we got the couple... 50% headshots, let's take them. Hit him in the face. Good boy. Good. Okay, here we go. Oop. Backing off. All right, all right, we got this. We got this. There's actually a little bit of extra protection from, um... Uh, ooh, that's cutting in. This extra 15% is actually doing relatively well. We're gonna take some buff jet, okay? We need the extra endurance, and we need the extra slow time. Taking it. Turning. Aim. Fire. Fire. Yes! Good choice, buff jet was. Ooh, that's that's nice. Never gonna use it, but it definitely is nice. Man, look at home, just much like food we have. I need to get through this food and make sure I start removing some of the ones that we're just not really using. Because I mean, look, we don't need 12 Mirelurk meats. 
Mutant Hound Chops are sweet, I mean, but we definitely don't need that many. Another Razor Claw. Let's just see if we can move around these guys. Ooh, Glowing Angler. Just, just, just try Caution. There we go. We're putting on our Invisit Arm so that we can just stand still if things are getting spooky. So, continuing on with the statement, Far Harbor, I was giving an unfair pass for being violent against the Children of Adam. They were, in fact, violent people, and I could understand how Dima would be afraid that if he let those people kind of exist without someone like Captain Avery, his version of Captain Avery, you know, like, prevent them from doing crazy things, they might hurt his sense, and also get the entire island blown up by the Children of Adam. I mean, the Far Harbor people are very ornery, and definitely the only one that we saw that was smart and that wasn't kind of creepy and weird was the captain all right checking the lower read making sure it's not saying that i'm going to be attacked by anything i can activate a barnacle it's odd all right so we're going to swim across the water now in order to do this i guess we'll first hit baber and point while we're going maybe they'll have a save for us frag mines that's cool, but a little spooky too. So anyway, I hope it's like, it's coming across a little bit of my my new opinion of what we should be doing because I feel like we can trust, I mean, well, we can't exactly trust Dima in the same way of like he's a trustworthy person, but it's not like Far Harbor has really shown us their kindness either. Like the people who accepted us most was Dima. He was just like, come on in, just don't do anything bad. The people of Far Harbor were like, stay away, we're gonna take you out if you come any closer. And, I mean, that was honestly not that cool. Ooh, hello, doggy. There you go. Uh, ping, 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 ping. Ping, 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 ping. I swear I hear. I do hear more. I don't know where the. Ruthless Trapper. Okay, I can't really see him through the light. Metal Arm Trapper Gears. Okay, let's see if we can get a good look at him from down here. I'm able to hit him. He's able to hit me too. But we're definitely... I feel like we're, we've got the safer position right now. We have more cover. Okay, that one missed. Alright, he's taking more cover now too. We're also invisible when we're shooting at him. I don't know how much effect this has when they already know where we are, but I think like that's got to be pretty useful, period. Doing some general loot looting right now, seeing if uh, there's a bed or something we can sleep in. Doesn't seem to be the case, but hey, we got rid of a couple people. We're more or less safe right now, so that's good. Got a place to cook. I'm actually not going to make purified waters right now because I want to have just more dirty water. A lot of roasted Mirelurk meat. There we go. So anyway, I feel like when we're looking at what we should do with Dima, I don't like what he did to Far Harbor, but I was giving them a free pass simply because they weren't synths and they weren't like crazy believer people or whatever of something wild. And I mean, our character, I feel like would also kind of think that way. Because remember, from his point of view, the children of Adam, nice, the children of Adam are definitely the good people in his mind, but are misguided currently. Major stuff, but those damn trappers keep sniff sniffing around, and I'm not going to pick a pipe while well, outnumbered. I took the stash of buried in that old grave. You know the one. Bring a shovel. Interesting. Something's buried in an old grave. In the future, I want to make some grape mentats because of that plus five charisma and the massive barter. We just need to find some hub flour and whiskey, and we got something pretty sick going for us. No way I could pick this. Now, unfortunately, no more bed here either, which is. Holy. No, 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 no! Well, we got out of that. No. no. Oh, it's the car. It's a car. Quick, 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 quick. Go. Whoo. Whoo. -wee. That car was going to explode. Something else is alive near me. I don't know what. I'm in caution. God. Spook, spook, spook. Okay, we're in. We're good. We're good. Let's find that final frag mine. There we go, keep going closer to it. Once again, bummer that there's no sleeping bed nearby here. I mean, there might be, but there's not in any of the places we've currently looked. There's a house over there, but what we need to get to is just this way. I mean, huh. I don't see anything particularly dangerous in this direction. 
is right in front of us, the cache. I want to hit this first, just in case there's a bed here. There's a bed there. There's actually a trapper who's just laying down right there. So let's pop. I feel bad for this guy. I mean, at least he's going to go out really quietly, you know? See? Quietly. He had no idea what was happening. He went to sleep and he had a good night's sleep. The best sleep of his life. And the the final. <laughs> the music playing right now reminds me of uh, Mass Effect's music. It's kind of that pretty do 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 do. If you guys, if you know what I'm, know what I'm putting down. Harpoon gun. Time to run. Avoid the harpoons. All right. Uh, grenades sound good. Scrounging trapper. Oh, you're gonna run and punch me? All right. Wow, you're very quick at it, though. Well, I guess we'll go for the legs. Ow, he did get me. But I was able to stop him before that. Ooh, what a cool set of looks and armor that this guy has. Like, that does look really cool. All right, there's the normal trapper right there. Okay, where is the harpoon trapper? I hear the normal trapper. But I'm more worried about the harpoon trapper. <laughs> There's that shot a gun. All right, if I'm able to go inside, potentially I'll be able to. <gasps> Hi! God damn! Ooh, that looked like it hurt. I did that. I'll take those. Thank you. All right, we gotta find. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Good ideas. Good ideas. Hup. There we go. More good ideas. Good. All right. So the trapper now has to come around and able to get up here. So we're gonna be kind of putting ourselves in. <gasps> this apparently does leave a save. Hold on, let's check the load. He didn't this time. God, I just had a comment with somebody where I was chatting with them and I said, hey, if you, even if you're in combat, it will still leave a save. Yes. Or maybe it leaves like not a, a save where you can load, but it will leave a save where like you can die and come back there, which would be an interesting option. Yeah, it's still saying the nucleus. All right, we've got to figure out where this guy is going to come around from. Because if we can kind of peek out. All right, that's a scrounging trapper. That's not the guy we have to be too worried about. Oh, oh no, I see him. Hoi! <laughs> okay. Oh, man, you hear the doing from that shot that just comes by? God. Okay, peek out. Peek back in. You know, actually, if we could plop another mine right here, we might be able to get him as he's walking around the house. Afraid? That's how it starts. No, I'm... Well, yes, yes, I'm very afraid, but it's not the kind of fear where it's like, oh, you're going to kill me. It's the kind of fear where I'm like, I'm going to get you at one point. I just need to be intelligent about it. And let's have some Yao Gai ribs. That's going to give us a lot of health and jump up our damage resistance like half a Medex would, so... Potentially, we're more likely to survive a shot from a freaking harpoon. Hoi! hey -o. Just a normal trapper. Come all around. Come around. There you go. Easy couple kills. Couple shots, really, not kills. God, these guys are totally interrupting my groove about talking about what we're going to do with Dima. Basically, how I'm giving across that Dima is we're going to trust him a little bit more, I guess? Because I was doing the sort of prejudiced behavior on the Far Harbor people and going against what the role play which would, would do, which is respecting uh, the date, the, the people from the Children of Adam. Whoop. Okay, I can't find the other dude, so we're gonna kind of pop on this side. I think this is gonna be the safest spot to fire on this dude without the scary other dude shooting at us. Let's hit him with a critical. Oh, it doesn't kill him. But it, oh, look at his hat. It's like a, just a chill fish hat. One more shot. All right. Oh, I just heard the harpoon gun again. Turn off the light. Does it speak to me? You talking about Adam? Where are you? I know we have our frag mines. Oh, he's right below us. All right, that's perfect. Whew. Phew. 
Oh, I'm not hitting him? Back off. Maybe a grenade. There we go. Oh, that was scary. All right, I'm gonna drop a quick save right now. Perfect, we don't need to do anything. I know I'm tired, I'm parched, I don't care. That was basically everything we needed to do real quick to keep us safe. Our other frag mine. We should have a third frag mine out here actually. Nope, we hit all th the both of them. All right, that's fine. It's definitely okay. I mean, we lived and we lived okay. Cool with the outcome. I'm gonna go dirty water and hope that we're all right, properly hydrated, just a couple rads. That works fine for me. And we have to start using dirty water to be safe. It's just, just something I didn't quite expect us to start doing as much. All right, so we have our save. We're going out in that direction to find the cache. You see that right there? It actually has a little bit of spray coming off of that rock. Look at that. That's awesome. That's really cool. I liked that. That was very pretty. Good effect, Bethesda. All right, so... There you guys kind of have my opinion on the Dima versus Far Harbor case. I think I'm going to be on Dima's side because we don't know how crazy angry some of these things were going to be. I mean, how mad Far Harbor would have been. We've, I was actually all defensive of, well, them over the Children of Adam. Where I was like, ooh, Avery's dead. But in reality, Far Harbor's killed so many of the Children of Adam. It's like, could one more person being killed for the synths really be that crazy? I mean, they certainly made in a like quite a behavior of just killing people that they don't really know or trust. So I'm kind of pro Dima in this one. Um, I think still. Ugh, crud. All right, well we're close to the cache. Those guys are far enough away that I don't think we're gonna bump into them. So, all right, let's keep moving forward. All right, I don't see anything scary in the direction that we're going. So hopefully, once again, there isn't gonna be any giant whale or something that eats us. That would be the worst. God, and that, it makes so much sense to have giant scary whale creatures out here. Alright, uh, no traps or anything. Just, uh, disturbed earth. Interesting. I feel like we're gonna confront Dima about all these things, but honestly, I feel like I could kind of agree with some of these thought processes. And we completed it. Nice. So the next thing we could go up and hit would be get the power tools. I mean, it's kind of an interesting option because that's actually probably just like a straight swim. And that would be a relatively safe jump. I mean, something we could probably get to pretty easily. We hit that. We could continue back up to sort of around these places. Or we could just drop right back down to the nucleus. And then back over to Acadia. Yeah, you know what? I think that's actually a pretty good way to do this. Let's head straight over to where the power tools are and just stay off in the water. Ooh, we cannot go this way. So we're definitely hitting the limits right now. Okay, I'm just trying to find east. They're saying like completely east. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's fascinating. So I can't like swim out here. I have to swim like along here. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I guess this could be a little bit one of those uh, speedy montages. You know, now that I think about it, it could have made sense just to go back to Rayburn Point, nice and safe, drop the save, and then make our way up this way. Because this way, we don't know if there's actually going to be a save. I'm heading back to Rayburn Point. We're going to we're gonna go right back there. Ooh, that's a Yao Guai. I thought that was another angler. No, just have a good day, sir. Yeah, I definitely feel like that was the right choice. This was very quick to get back here. Nice and safe. Yeah, okay. Especially after netting, you know, Dima's cash. That makes perfect sense to do. Debatably, we're really... Actually, you know what? No, I still like the idea of getting the power tools. I want to try to help out as many people as I possibly can while we're doing this. And also trying to grab some hub flowers. Because if we get two of those and a whiskey, we can make some sweet great mentats. But if we can help as many people out as possible, then we'll have that opportunity to hopefully make as peaceful as possible. I mean, we've already kind of screwed the children of Adam a bit by not having a good response to a woman who is the heretic. Anyway, we got our save, so I feel a bit more comfortable doing this over land now. Especially, we cleared out a lot of this area, so it's not too bad either. Yeah, that's actually pretty close for us to get to. 
All right, so I'm curious about your guys' opinion on Dima and my kind of argument. I think roleplay-wise, our character is, or I mean, the way I was definitely doing this roleplay, which was kind of incorrectly judging the people of the Children of Adam off of how I personally judge the Children of Adam. I thought that was gonna kill you. I thought it was gonna kill you. It did not. It did not kill you. That feral wolf looks awesome when it's all like white like that. Oh, we got more shooting going on. It's coming from our left. Ooh, Super Mutant Master. Hold on. Let's take a step back. No reason to be involved in that quite yet. Uh, yeah. I think I'm just gonna back around these guys. I kind of want to see. What are they shooting at? I don't see wolves or anything. I guess Myrlurks? Anglers, maybe? I don't really care about... Oh, ghouls. Oh, this is awesome because, you know, we would normally have to be shooting these ghouls ourselves because that's what we do as a good holy person. But now, if we're quiet about it, we might be able to actually help out the uh, super mutants without causing too much of a problem. Bro, you made the biggest mistake coming this way. Biggest mistake you could make. Oh, just taking off his head. And we're in danger now, though. That super mutant's not gonna be a problem. It's that master I'm worried about. Don't move, bro. It's already hard enough to aim with this thing. Seriously, I, I keep missing. I don't... There you go. I just move a little bit so I can see the cursor and nail him. Is that the master? That's the master. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna do this. Bloop. Good amount of damage. Oh, don't act like that. Oh no, I wanted to try the plasma grenades. Alright, and it goes. Ah, leg! Ah, crotch! Ah, other crotch! Okay, we're losing enough health here that I'm gonna try to back off. Oh, damn it, come on. Come on, game. Let's do this right. There you go. Super bright. Perfect. Death claw steak, please. Thank you. Ooh, does he think I'm gone now? Ooh, got him in the leg and a level up. All right. Well, that actually worked out really well. Okay. Uh, they helped us kill all the ghouls, which was wonderful of them. Then we helped them die, which was kind of us. Couldn't do anything better. And now let's see if they have a bed or something in here that we can use. Hello, big guy. I don't really need anything off of you. Ooh, ooh, plasma mine. Recon 50 sniper rifle. We don't use those kind of weapons. That would be the coolest thing ever. But we don't use that kind of stuff. Also, it would be sweet if we could sleep in a crib. That would be legit. I feel like Far Harbor has less beds than a lot of the other places that we've gone to in the Commonwealth before. Which I find is kind of a bummer because it's you have this level of like, hey, um... We have this new mode, survival mode. We made it. It came out around you know, a little bit before Far Harbor was sort of doing its thing. Let's uh, let's lower the amount of beds and saves that exist for people who play this way. Oh, we found some more ammo, which is cool, but that's uh, not what I was looking for. Looking for a place to nappy poo. I got this level up, which is pretty sick. What level are we now? 32? Anything that we can uh, jump up that we couldn't jump up before? We can keep pushing up agility. That's been working out relatively okay, and the more we push it up, the closer we get to gun Fu. Screw it, more agility training. We are at 9 agility. Okay, so we actually have not moved very far uh, compared to where we were originally with that sleeping bag that we just found. So I'm actually going to go back there, drop a slit or a slave. Yeah, I'm going to drop all my slaves down that way. And uh, that will work relatively okay. I think that will be the end of the episode. So, dudes, thank you so much for joining us. What is in here, first of all? Oh, no, I know what this is. Yeah, I recognize it. Okay, dudes, thank you so much for joining us. It was super fun to have you. We got Dima's thing. What do you think about the idea with how we're going to interact with him? Because I realized that I was giving the children and Adam the kind of the shorter straw compared to the Far Harbor people because... If, if we had, we, Children of Adam, so many of them had died 
because of Far Harbor. And it's this kind of level. They were chased out of Far Harbor. Um, the Archimist could have been a, was a part of Far Harbor and she was removed as well. And then, and so it's this kind of level of like Avery truly was built, uh, literally, uh, to make good for the synths, but it could also just be good for Far Harbor in general because they were, they have short memories. You know, that was a thing that Longfellow mentioned where he's like, these people were like, oh, we need to kill the children of Adam. It's their fault. And Longfellow's like, I remember when it was like this before. So the people of Far Harbor aren't exactly the smartest people. We don't know how smart Captain Avery was prior to this change either. It was not good. I definitely don't like that demon did it. But I don't think I can necessarily judge him doing that to Far Harbor really very harshly because of what damage they did to the actual children of Adam and what potentially they could have done to since because of how they treated the children of Adam at first. The children of Adam were humans, which is slightly different beliefs. What would they do to people who are actually inhuman? I mean, it's, it, it's who knows? It's up for the debate, of course. But that's what makes me kind of feel like I'm going to go confront him about it and be like, I understand everything you were doing. You wanted to ensure that the uh, Far Harbor wouldn't just kill children of Adam, so you had the kill switch. You killed Avery so that you could make it a place for the ghouls to safely go through. You And then you also have the nuke at the submarine, which originally we were just trying to help out, but now it doesn't have the same relationship anymore with them. Oh, man. it's a It's a fascinating idea. It's... I want to hear your opinions. Let me know down below. And of course, thank you for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button over to my side. And of course, when the ground rises, meet your feet. The wind always be at your back. And the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.